Hello everybody, this is Nate from the Corona team and I'd like to welcome you to the Corona for Cinema 4D Slicer tutorial. Yep, this is what this one's all about. We're gonna learn how to use the slicer material to easily and effectively cut through geometry all without using those messy bullions. So we've got our interior here. You can see it being rendered in the interactive viewport. And so for our first task, what we'll be doing here is we'll be cutting it open. When it comes to using the slicer material, the first thing you ought to do is to bring in the base geometry that you will use to define the shape with which you'll cut. So in our case here, we're going to create a simple cube and we're just going to make it the proper size so that it encompasses the entire interior. Now, you don't need to use a cube yourself. You can use any kind of an object, complex or simple, polygonal or primitive. It does not matter. The slicer material will just work. All right, so now that our base geometry is in, we'll want to apply the slicer material to it. So let's create one by going under the Corona menu here, and then we'll bring in the slicer material. All we have to do now is we just need to apply it to our base geometry and voila, just like that, we're slicing through our interior here. You can now readjust the way you make the cut by moving the geometry in the scene and as you'll see, the interactive renderer updates along just as you'd expect it to. So this really allows for a fun and creative workflow. Now, with the slicer material, you've got different options that you can leverage to fine tune the slicing. So first thing, you can include exclude scene objects from being sliced. So in our case here, what if we like the general cut we are making, but we would like to avoid cutting through the windows their pillars and the curtains here. Well, in that case, all we have to do is we need to drag those objects into the include exclude list. And there we go. We're now cutting through the interior, but we're excluding those specific objects from being cut. But wait, there's even more to the slicer. A very important functionality is also the cap functionality. So right now, our caps are enabled. And if we take a look at our walls, for example, you're going to be able to see that the geometry is capped off. Now, if we disable the caps from being generated by toggling the enable button here, well then, Corona won't be creating caps and it'll just cut through the geometry, which will, in our instance here, result in these walls not being capped off. Additionally, if you do enable caps, you can plug in your own material for the caps themselves. Now, if you wouldn't like to use a custom cap material, you can just uncheck the use cap material toggle. And now, because we are not defining a cap material, Corona will cap the holes using the material that is applied to the object it's cutting through. So in the instance of our walls here, the caps have the same material applied to them as the walls themselves. So if you cut through the walls or the furniture or any other kind of scene object with the use cap material being turned off, the sliced geometry will retain its material for the caps themselves. If however, you do turn on the use cap material toggle, you can input your own cap material for the caps. So if we create a new Corona physical material and we make it this vivid blue color so that it really stands out, well then we can plug this material into the slicers cap material slot. And as you can see, we're now using that newly created material for our caps. Now, before we conclude this tutorial, there's still one very important thing to discuss here. And that is the fact that now that we're slicing through our interior here, you'll notice that the lighting in the interior is getting affected. So the light sees this interior as being cut. It sees it exactly as we see it. And so it comes pouring in through the cuts that we've made. Now, sometimes you don't want that. You want to make the cut be visible, but you don't want it affecting the actual lighting. So to make that happen, we'll bring in a ray switcher material. So we're gonna go under the Corona menu and we'll bring this special material in. This material is used to assign different kinds of materials to the different ray types. 
You can use it, for example, to create materials that are invisible to the camera or materials that are not affecting global illumination at all and, well, all sorts of similar trickery. Now, with the ray switcher material in front of us, what we'll want to do is we'll want to use it to make our slicer material not affect the lighting, but only have it affect what we see. So we'll plug the slicer material into the directly visible slot here, and then we'll apply the ray switcher material onto our base geometry that we're using to make the cuts. And just by doing that, you can now see that the interior looks differently lit because now the light in the scene doesn't actually take the slicing that we're doing into the account. The slicing slash cutting now only happens visually. It doesn't affect the lighting at all. All right. And with that, you now know pretty much all that there is to know about the slicer material. It's a really useful material and it's also designed to be intuitive to use. Now, don't forget, you can slice just about anything and everything, no matter the complexity and no matter the scenario. That's it for this one. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next one, take care, everybody.